Ernest Evans is the first of three games in a trilogy. The other two are El Viento and Aneto Futatabe. Ernest Evans, released in 1992 for the Sega Genesis, was developed by Wolf Team and published by Renovation. Wolf Team is well known for classics like Soul Feast, Time Gal, and Road Avenger for the Sega CD. It's interesting to note that the Mega CD version of Ernest Evans features cutscenes and a rockin' CD soundtrack not found in the US Sega Genesis version. For those who may not know, the Mega CD is the Japanese version of the Sega CD. Strangely enough, in Japan, only the Mega CD version was released, never the cartridge, and in the US, only the Genesis cartridge was released and not the CD version. Now, speaking of the game's soundtrack, the Ernest Evans soundtrack is composed by Motoi Sakuraba, who is famed for his compositions on such games as Star Ocean, Valkyrie Profile, Shining Force 3, and more. The anime style cutscenes are designed by Kazutashi Yaami, who is known for his artwork in the Japanese manga Gamblefish and the game Arcus Odyssey. Now let's jump into the story. The first part of this trilogy has players taking control of treasure hunter Ernest Evans III. Like his grandfather before him, Ernest is on a quest to find three ancient idols containing the power to destroy the world. Along the way, you'll butt heads with your rival and fellow treasure hunter, Brady Treseder, who has evil plans to destroy the world with the idols. You'll also encounter a female named Annette Meyer, who will aid you later in the game. It's interesting to note that Annette Meyer is the star of El Viento, which is the second game in the Ernest Evans trilogy. As Ernest Evans III, who is reminiscent of Indiana Jones, you sport a whip as your main weapon. In your side-scrolling adventure through the underground caves and ruins of Mexico, Peru, and more exotic locations, you can use this whip to defeat enemies and swing across platforms. This gave the game a very Castlevania vibe. Three other weapons can be had as well. Rocks that explode when you throw them, a hammer, and a morning star which is a medieval club with spikes on it. Ouch. Imagine taking one of those to the noggin. Now keep in mind, these weapons can only be used once in certain parts of the game. When you control Ernest, you may notice it feels a little different than other games. That's because Wolf Team used an engine to specifically animate each part of Ernest's body to give a more realistic feel in the gameplay. I love this decision they made as it makes it feel totally different when controlling Ernest. However, most critics and gamers bash this feature, saying it felt too robotic. Ernest Evans is a title that just by looking at the label of the Genesis cartridge might lead most to believe that it's an adventure game much like Indiana Jones. Now while it totally is, this was done to appeal more to American audiences and thus most gamers into Japanimation may not have known about the animation influences in the game. So definitely be sure to check out Ernest Evans, you'll be glad you did. This is Jim Combs saying, see you next time on Video Game Saga's Vintage Play segment. Be there or be square. おい、大丈夫か。しっかりしろ。あなたは。そうだ、新刊は。心配しないでいい。あいつは俺が倒した。この部屋に古い本があると思うんだが、知らないか。Well done.